Hi, quarantine crafters. It's been a few days since we have all been stuck at home, and I know that there's a lot of you out there sewing your little hearts out. I just want to take a second to say thank you for all that you're doing. I'm also sewing, and believe me, I have tried every single mask that there is to make out there. Um, not all are one size fits all, and not all tutorials are one size fits all. So I wanted to take a second and do my own tutorial for you that'll be quick and easy. It does use a little bit more fabric than the other tutorials, but I think that it's quicker and easier for you to do. So what you're gonna wanna start out with is a piece of fabric that is eight and a half inches wide by 21 inches long. Or if you are my centimeters lovers out there, that would be 54 centimeters long by, oh gosh, 21 centimeters wide, okay? So you're gonna take your piece and the first thing you're gonna do is fold it over twice at the top to make a little seamless edge, okay? Now that's gonna be the top of your pocket. I've read a lot of things. A lot of hospitals need three or four layers, sorry about my finger, along with a pocket that you could add filtration into. So that's what we're making today. We're making a three layer with a packet so you can slide that fourth layer in if you want, okay? So once you sew right across the top, don't worry about it, just do about a quarter inch fold and then another quarter inch fold over. Give yourself a stitch right across the top. I don't know if you can see that, but I've just stitched right across the top and that gives me a nice finished edge. The next thing you're going to do is lay it down flat, uh, right side up, the correct side up, and your finished edge, you're gonna fold up approximately five and a half inches, okay? So fold that up, five and a half inches, okay? Got it. Fold the other end so it meets the bottom, okay? Got it. Now, you have created your sandwich. This is inside out, okay? You now need to cut your elastic for your ears. Generally, I've been doing about that long, which is seven inches, okay? Cut two pieces of seven inch elastic. One, measure it, two, okay? And 14 inches of elastic for this. Before you sew your sides, okay? You're gonna open your sandwich back up, okay? I want you to see this. Open your sandwich back up. I'm gonna move back here. You, you can press this so you can see your seam. I've done it enough so I know though. But you're gonna take your two pieces of elastic and on your ends, you're putting them in that center section in a U shape, okay? Let me just bring this over so you can see this. Oh, sorry, work with me here, work with me. So what you're doing is you're putting this here and here, here and here, okay? This is not a perfect science, you'll pin it in a second. Just give yourself a second. Flip this back up and over, okay? You're gonna fix it, don't worry. Flip this back down and over to meet your bottom, okay? And then what you're gonna wanna do is nicely with your pin, come in between this sandwich here, I wish I could show you better, and pin it. You see here where I've got it? Pin this together, okay? So pin this, I'm gonna pin it, I'm gonna show you the finished one. So you're pinning that, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. Oh shoot, shoot I don't have a finished pin one, it's stupid. Um, so once you pin that, I'm gonna pin it for you, but once you pin that, Right there, right there, right there, and right there. God, let me just do it really quick. Watch these tutorials and they take forever. That's why I was trying to do a fast one. But you're just gonna pin that little spot, okay? So now you've got your three layers with your elastic sticking out there, and the other end of your C-shape, your three layers with your elastic. Good Lord, I lost my elastic. Give yourself some patience, okay guys? You're making these masks for other people and for yourself and for your family. Don't feel like it has to be couture, okay? All right, so put your finger in there. 
Put your elastic in there. Good Lord, get your words right, Merritt. And then once you get that in there, excuse the toddler, pin it, okay? So you're gonna pin it right here at the top. Now, you've got your two pinned and your elastic is inside there, okay? You're gonna sew along this edge. That's what I've done here. I've sewn along my edge and I've sewn along my edge. So you've created this. It doesn't look like anything, right? Now, you're gonna turn it inside out like you would a pillowcase. You're gonna turn this inside out all the way and like magic, you get this, okay? So you're gonna turn it inside out and um, just like a pillowcase, reach in there and get all your corners nice and flat, okay? So now you've got a big rectangle with your elastic on the edge, okay? The, the baby's here. Big rectangle, that doesn't work, okay? Because that's kind of weird. You could stop there, but it's kind of weird. So people have been doing the creases on the side, okay? Well, my machine's not magic. I don't know if yours is, but mine's not. So what I've been doing is pinning the pleats in like they, like they have in all the masks, pin the pleats, okay? But instead of going across like this and causing a huge jumbled up mess, do you see that crap? Yeah, my machine kept doing that. Do not pull that cord. My machine kept doing that. So I was losing my mind. Uh, so I pinned it and instead I sewed that way. So that way, guys. So long ways, about an inch down on your folds, okay? It still allows the mask to open up. It still allows you to get in there and put your pocket, your filter in there. But now you don't have to sew this way and jam your whole machine up. Your, mach your elastic's already sandwiched in there nicely because you created that inside pocket, right? So now if you just sew those darts, you've got your finished mask. So you see what I'm doing? You see what I said? I, I pinned it, right? Like I pinned it, and then instead of sewing across, I sewed up on my pleats. So see, I'm gonna do this last one here. Fold it in, and instead of sewing across, I'm sewing down. It's so much better. And then you have your finished mask that you still open. It still works, good. Put it on, good Lord, and then stretch it out. Put it on and then stretch it out because then that's easier. Not, it's kind of weird here, but guys, we're saving lives over here. Yay!